What's the good word, Josh? Your boy DKB here. Welcome to the New York Jets Syndicate channel. So, wanted to kind of share some thoughts about uh, what we're seeing earlier on from uh, tight end Jeremy Ruckert, right? Former Ohio State product comes to the New York Jets. A dream like scenario, right? Born and raised in New Jersey. Um, gets a chance to play with Ohio, doesn't get a ton of run, still ends up being a high value draft pick. And then you get drafted by your favorite team. Uh, you couldn't, you know, wish for a better circumstance than that. You fast forward to year one, we get through training camp and everything. Uh, Jeremy Ruckert ends up dealing with a case of plantar fasciitis, which limited his entire season to one game, the final week of the season in which he did actually show fairly well, right? I think he only had the one reception, uh, but he showed his versatility and being a strong blocker, much improved out of the gate um, in like a hybrid fullback type role, showing off, of course, his versatility as well, um, in which I still think if we want to maximize the roster, uh, you can utilize him as a replacement for a guy like Nick Baldwin um, to, you know, help increase the snap load as well for him. But... All in all, Jeremy Rucker just spent the entirety of minicamp, OTAs, and training camp healthy and proving that the New York Jets might have gotten a huge steal in this NFL draft. Right now, he's my most underrated player, uh, probably on the New York Jets team, right? Definitely on the offensive side. He's been one of the consistent big flashes that we've seen practice after practice after practice and he's doing it in numerous ways we're still seeing the blocking there we're seeing his red zone ability we're seeing the strong hands we're seeing his ability to go out there and high point the ball um we're seeing his yards after catch ability so he's pretty much displaying a, a full arsenal of uh, uh just what he could be and mean to this new york jets team and i'm not one of the only people that think about this but I, I, I'm still going on record thinking that he can be tight end two before the season is officially over for the New York Jets, uh, giving the, the Jets the opportunity to move on from C.J. Uzama and his contract uh, and feel very comfortable with pairing him up next to Tyler Conklin to eventually be groomed and hopefully replace Tyler Conklin as tight end one as well. So I'm very, very, very excited for his future. But uh, I, I say most underrated because... The NFL and and college as a whole, we have no idea what Jerry, you know, Jeremy Rucker can actually be. During Ohio, he got very minimal usage in the receiving game because they just had too many weapons. Marvin Harrison Jr., I think the name is, uh, that was hanging uh, hanging out in the wings. Garrett Wilson, Chris Olave, it was, it was just very strong. Right, the running back room was very good as well. So. Um, you don't really know what he was going to be. I think he finished his career with less than 50 receptions uh, in college. Then you get to the Jets, and what could have been a big opportunity in year one ends up getting squandered because he's not healthy enough uh, to do anything. Plantar fasciitis limiting uh, pretty much anything he could attempt and want to try to do successfully because it being a foot injury and one that doesn't have clear timelines for recovery, um, you never know quite what's going to happen. But... All of the physical, tangible traits that we loved were there. From a mental standpoint, we obviously knew he was able to overcome adversity, being a guy that could have been a focal point of a lot of offenses across the, uh, the you know, the college ranks. Um, but settling in with Ohio State, never making a complaint, being an awesome teammate, then coming to the Jets, dealing with the injury, but still being able to show up in that final, uh, uh, you know, game of the season um, and, and put his best foot forward. No pun intended. Um, but Big, strong, athletic, uh, agile. He's bringing everything that you would love to see. So uh, he's not quite Zach Kuntz tier in terms of athleticism, uh, uh, you know, his athletic ceiling. Um, but he's definitely one of the better ones in the NFL. And as a huge, you know, six foot five target, um, you know, you'd love to see uh, what he's going to do with a guy like Zach Wilson down the line if he actually ends up you know, maintaining his quarterback of the future status, but he's also in a wonderful situation right now where, you know, recently he's also been getting first team reps, uh, which was unexpected. Uh, obviously we utilize our tight ends more than we have in any other offense 
under Nathaniel Hackett. Uh, but seeing that the coaching staff wanted to see what these looks would look like, uh, you know, with him being lined up with Aaron Rodgers is absolutely huge and probably a good sign of where they actually think uh, Jeremy Rucker may be. Uh, CJ Uzama himself quoting, it's a huge leap for him in year two. Um, so I, I'm very excited for his future. Could be me, could be just me being a homer, uh, for sure, right? But I try to be pretty objective with these things. But uh, obviously, we won't truly know until we get into some games that matter. But there's been encouraging signs. The first team reps, they held him out of our Hall of Fame game, which uh, we held out 32 players pretty much. Uh, you know, the entirety of most of our starters and key guys that we think uh, could be significant role players or, you know, borderline starters. Um, and he was a part of that as well. So either way, uh, let you know, let me know what you guys think. Where, where are you at with Jeremy Rucker? Just too, too early to crown anything. Uh, and we're overhyping it for no reason. Or are there legitimate, uh, you know, foot, uh, uh, you know, crumbs and footsteps that we're seeing on the path to what could be a very successful season uh, for Jeremy Rucker with the Jets. And I'll catch you guys again. Peace.